Hi guys, and welcome back to Let's Play for the Frog the Bell Tolls. We got a upgrade to... What did we get? We got some sort of glove. A work glove. And that's gonna let us push big rocks. So, we are ready to head to the glacier. I hope to hear the bell ringing again soon. This is a strange land that... Spring and summer... And, uh, all those seasons are controlled by the ringing of a bell. But here is where we can finally move things out of the way. Yeah. Whole new area. Man, it's cold. Frogs and snakes would freeze out here. Well, what happens if I eat one of these eggs? Man, it's cold. Frogs and snakes would freeze out here. You turn automatically back to a human. Well, there you go. We have a survival instinct. Oh, and we've got some uh, new types of enemies. Some little pups. I suppose they're supposed to be wolves, but they just look so cute. And man, do they pack a lot of money. Especially considering how much damage they do. Not bad. What's this? North Cape. Eskimo Village to the right. Well, let's go in the up direction and check out this cape. No, he grabbed me. Ooh, a tree. All right, let's grab our souls all. We should be getting getting some power ups, I guess. Hundred nuts. That's not a power up. Oh, I hope we have enough saws. It seems like we have a lot of uh, little rooms to go into. Oh, it's just healing. No, that's not so bad, I guess. Keeps us from wasting any wine or anything. I'll oh, start with left. Oh, we can't get past here. We could push the rock, but the tree's in the way. Oh, that looks like we might be heading to that place. I'm not sure how long this video is going to be. Oh, look at those tough guys. Um, but hopefully we get managed to have enough time to do a full feature length video. It's getting a little late here and I just, uh, ooh, a speed stone. Speed rose by one. I just, uh, I don't want to be up too late while playing this. Well, I suppose you could have gone down that other way and not had to fight that guy, but I don't know what the difference would really be. Alright, that's the start screen of this. Oh, I see. You just can't get up that way the easy way. Uh, actually does seem like a waste of a... zone. Oh, we could get down there. We go this way. Bear's just not moving. Gonna have to fight him. Well, we're gonna win, but he did take a little bit of a chunk off. He's not moving either. What's with these bears that don't move? I guess they're trying to ensure that you have to be strong enough to make it through. Bears have some sort of belly slide they do. Ribbit, ribbit. Alright, I guess we can't turn into a frog by touching the water because it's too cold. Well, at least we can take the shortcut back out of here. Well, there's only one more place to check out. Oh, this wasn't the original. Oh, yes, it was. Okay, there's nothing there. Oh, there is something there. Just wanted to zip past that bear. A dead end. Okay. That's definitely going to be a dead end as well. I cannot fight this bear. Yeah, dead end. Maybe there's a way back onto the ice this way. Oh, God, those birds look dangerous. 
Oh, we could have done this the whole time. Run away! It's a life meter filler upper. Well, that's not so bad. Hardly needed to go there. I guess if you accidentally fought those birds, you probably would. There's really no point in fighting enemies in this game other than to get money, and we've kind of ground up enough money to make it through for a while. Ice Cavern in Eskimo Village. Let's go to the Ice Cavern last, because I bet you we're going to have to talk to somebody in the village first. Eskimo Village. Eskimo Village. The only way to the mine is through the ice cavern. So we gotta get to the gold mine. We gotta go through the ice cavern to get to the gold mine. I guess maybe we can't do anything in town yet. A woof woof. I'm a dog. Going to where the gold mine Going to the gold mine, eh? Clear out is through the ice cavern. So this is clearly a Canadian uh, village, if they're all saying A. A new flash! Plin Surf gets a new glove! Path to the glacier now open! Riding Hood's shop is the only one in town. I guess she's got quite the monopoly going on, eh? I'll heal you for a tiny sum. You're already fit as a fiddle. Riding Hood works over in that shop. There. Welcome, how may I help you? I have to know she talks kind of funny. Uh, we should stock up a little bit on some of this stuff. Grab a wine. Oh, it's just regular wine. They don't have the special sweetberry wine here. Or maybe nobody does. Oh, no! I forgot to do something in the last town. Oh, well. I'll we'll have to go back and do that. Prince welcome! We appreciate your patronage. Wow, you're... Wow, you're a smooth talker. Well, then, I better buy... I. It's hard to tell who's talking. They should have really flopped this top and bottom. Well, then, I should buy something. Thank you. Please take this as a token of our acquaintance. Got 100 nuts. What's this? Just some complimentary spending money. <laughs> You're a real rascal. I don't accept bribes. Don't worry about it. It's not. Taking it, that'll get you into trouble. The shop owner forced the money into your hands. Hey, we got money. Remember me when you're king? <laughs> Please, go to the other side. All right. I guess we're done in this town. We are going to have to go to that ice cavern. But just before we go to that ice cavern... We're gonna use some fast forward skills here. Go back to town. Because I forgot something. This guy down here, this secret man. With all the grapes. I'm developing a new type of wine. My new wine is finished. I call it Prime Nouveau. Drink up and you'll recover six hearts. Nowadays, you can buy Prime Mubo at any shop. So now, if we look at our wine, it's still this wine. If we drink it, and head back to any town, including the Eskimo town, I'd imagine. Look at that! He was just waiting on the prince talking to him to turn the wine into a new wine. It's kind of ridiculous, but it 
I guess works? The time only passes wherever the prince is in this game. Alright, so we're gonna head up to this glacier, right? Oh no, this is the ice cavern. Okay, head up here real quick. See if we can't... See if we can take out a bird. Oh, not too bad. They do a lot of damage, but they can't take very much. What's this say? Ice cavern. Other side, Mount Puddin. Cast the spell to open. Whoop. Spell? What spell? I guess I'd better ask the elder, this elder guy, but who is he? Uh, to open the path. Thanks, elder. Oh, great. We're gonna have to deal with the Mormons. There's only one true path into the ice cavern. Right, I'm sure they know who the elder is in the village. He's gotta be one of these guys. I'm sure they don't have beards, but... Maybe one of them... He's an old man. I've never heard of any spell, but the only way to the mine is through the ice cavern. Uh-oh. No. Woof woof. Elder. I don't know who he is. Someone else might. That uh, person changed from woman to a man because I realized that the only woman in town is this girl. Well, and Red Riding. Writing works in that shop over there. Oh, here's another girl. There was once a man called Elder who had magic powers. I heard he exiled himself from the village long ago. The Elder should be somewhere on this glacier. All right. Well. Welcome, how may I help you? Maybe we can go in here now. No. Well, this is, seems to be a video full of just running around. I've never heard of any spell, but the only way to through the mine is the cavern. Alright, well, there's more to this glacier we haven't explored yet. Let's check this guy out. When the ice melts, you'll be able to sail on the lake. Ooh, uh, a tree. Got some Prime Nouveau. Anything in this direction? This game sorely lacks a B-run. I remember uh, the Zelda game, Link's Awakening, based on this same engine with the screen that goes flip. Um, with that sword, you don't need a saw to defeat fear trees. Oh, there's fear trees coming up. And with this sword, we don't need a saw to defeat them. Very good. Um, anyways, what I was going to say was... In the Zelda game... Uh, you eventually get the dash attack, which you got to use clearly to defeat certain enemies, but... Um, more importantly, you kept that equipped and used it to pretty much get around everywhere. I'm gonna drink this just in case. No, it's a life stone. Oh, I shouldn't have drank it at all. Fifty nuts. Um, so it was kind of ridiculous that there was there's no beer in the game, but also like the dash. It really sucked whenever there was a screen that didn't have a straight run across it, and you're trying to get all the way across the world. I guess that's why they had the warps in, but... I don't know how many warps there were in the Game Boy version. Hm. Anyway. Oh, a lot of polar bears. These guys are annoying. Oh, what's in the cave? Oh, I was really hoping they'd drop some hearts. 50 nuts! Oops. Alright, we really need to not crash in any more polar bears. What's in the cave? Ah, some sweet berry wine. 
All right, we gotta fight two trees either way we go, so. If we got a little more speed, we wouldn't have to worry about these guys if we get the first hit every time. I do wish there was some sort of real reward for fighting enemies, like experience or something. It's just empty! Ugh. Man. Might as well just get ourselves all beat up so we can head back to town. Actually, yeah, that's not a bad idea. Huh? I'm in a hospital. Did someone carry me here? Oh, it hurts. Mm. I'll heal you for a tidy sum. Actually, costs less than if we got back all damage. Oh, go. Mm. All right. So clearly, that is not where the person is. I think someone's living in a hut on the out on North Cape. Okay. So we clearly have to go to North Cape. Instead, we have to go to that hut. Let's see if maybe now that we're supposed to go there, that frog's out of the way. Luckily, we can take the shortcut now. I'm actually kind of glad we came here ahead of time. Made that a lot faster. The Ribbage Ribbit. Hey, frog, who lives here? He won't let you pass. He can't understand. He can't understand me, and I... I can't turn to a frog because it's too cold. Maybe the villagers have some sage advice or some elder advice on how to get to the elder. All right, let's just sit back. No reason to draw this out. Whoops. I guess I'm drawing it out by sucking at walking in straight lines. The hut on Northern Cape, on North Cape. Riding Hood might know who lives there. Hut on North Cape, Riding Hood might know who lives there. All right, let's go ask her. Of course. What happened? Nobody's tending the shop. Riding Hood. Riding Hood ran off into the forest. Northeast of here. That place is full of monsters. I'm beside myself with worry. Mm, that's awful, don't worry. I'll save her. Alright, so we gotta go back to the top of that damn forest. This is quite the back and forth. This is... This reeks of padding. Could you imagine if this was some DLC you bought? Oh, you'd be pissed. Ooh, look at that. Tree dodge. Whoops. All these damn trees. Alright. And there she is. Hey, that's Riding Hood. The missing girl, isn't it? Oh, it's you, Quince. It's it's Prince. The shop owner is worried sick about you. Let's get you home. Sob, sob. What's wrong? I I don't want to go back. The shop owner always makes fun of me. If sales fall short, even a whittle, he ties me up. It's horrible. Oh my god, this guy's a monster. What? I'll teach him a lesson. Thank you, Prince. It's Prince. Oh, we got our life all back. That's good. And we warped back. Finally, they gave us a little bit of a break. Where were you? I was so worried. Hold it right there, old man. <laughs> we didn't say anything about it yet. I did not hit her. I did not. I can't do very good with so impression. She told me everything. It's no use hiding. No use in hiding any longer. You're one of Delarin's men. Indeed. I'm gathering funds for Lord Delarin. I was waiting for the right time to capture you, but 
I guess it's now or never. Let's go! Well, he hits a lot harder than us, but he doesn't have enough life. Get a life, buddy. I won't forget this. Thank you, Prince. Zerv. Now I can live happily ever after. No need to thank me, but I'd like to ask a question. Is it true that the Elder lives out on the North Cape? Yep, the Elder is all by himself out there. Huh? A Foggy is blocking the door. Don't worry, Prince. Wait here. She sounds a little more like Elmer Fudd than a uh, little girl, but oh well. This magic hood's been in the shop for ages. Its strange power lets the wearer speak to Froggies. It's a reward for saving me. Heart. Oh, it looks like the Mario frog hat. You got the frogs later. Wow, surely I can parlay with that frog now. I'll take this and be off. I'll go back to tending the shop. Oh, that's her. I'll go back to tending the shop. Thank you so much. All right. Last thing for the video, I guess, is we're gonna run back to that stupid frog. Oh, dang. I didn't even think to get healed. All right, let's go back to that stupid frog now. I guess this is another way to the shortcut. Go away. Oh. Go away. Wait, how can you understand me? How does he know we can understand him? We didn't ask him. Never mind that. Let me see the elder. What business do you have? A spell? Okay, I'll go ask him. Wait right here. The elder doesn't want to talk. See, I'll talk to anyone. You'll have to leave. Oh, we can move while he's waiting. Oh, push me back. The elder doesn't want to talk to anybody. Blah, blah, blah. Let's see if we can sneak in right after him. Boom. Hey, I told you to wait outside. No worries. I'll hear him out. Come in, sonny. There we go. That's a little bolder voice. Hey, I told you to wait outside. What a jerk. I thought my froggy was guarding the door. Wait, the spell in the ice gate, cavern. I won't teach you that. Long ago, a mammoth was terrorizing this glacier, so I sealed it away in the cavern. I don't want you disturbing it. And he just runs up to the wall. I guess we should drink his tea. I'll never teach you the spell. Oh, maybe we can corner him. Never, ever. Come on, Moses, give us the spell. What? I see. You're searching for the gold mine to save the princess and your friend. I suppose I have no choice. However, if the mammoth wakes up, you must defeat it. Agreed? No. I won't teach a coward. Oh, he's just gonna say the same thing. Oh, you're a coward. But if you agree this time, it's a deal. Ribbit hot squat. Show me a way where one was not. Got it, Sonny? Did you forget it? I'll tell you again. Ribbit hop squat. Show me a way where one is not. I hope we don't actually have to write that down. But you know what? Let's, uh... Let's just... Go real quick to this ice cavern. I guess this video is longer than I expected. Maybe I should have broken it up into two. But the ice cavern is very close by with the fast forward button. I'm just getting tired of walking around, so I want to be able to be here when we start the new thing. So, next time, Ribbit Hop Squat, show me a way where one is not. We are going to be hopping onto... Hey, it worked! This moving platform. I'm Zerfall, thanks for watching, and hope to catch you in the next video.